The reason why I keep bringing this up is uh, socialism versus communism versus versus capitalism, right? The terminology, not the actual practices, because what the actual practices and and uh, true definitions of these words is really still unknown. It changes over time. Right? The, the meaning of words, the meaning language evolves. Right? So, but what what fascinates me about it and why I keep bringing it up is because it it it's fascinating to me how a word can be weaponized and then used to get people to vote and or rally against their own interests. Right? In the case of, for example, healthcare in, in America is an abysmal failure. It's a mess. People end up with insane amounts of bills that they can't pay. They can't afford the, the basic care uh, right? because the premiums are too high. They have to pay too much to the insurance companies. And, and then when you, when you take a little closer look, you look at, you know, there's a, a million uh, health care workers, a million, in, scratch that, a million insurance health care workers in between you and health care that is sucking the economy dry to the you know the tune of I don't know what is it a half a trillion dollars the uh, mili- the the uh, health care industrial insurance company complex makes per year there's no need for that get rid of it right? but nonetheless people will will for the word is socialism right it's when people hear socialism they they immediately go back and look at uh, I don't know, terms of that there's some sort of romantic, some some sort of happening in in um, in maybe Russia or in China, and then then it's communism slash socialism, and it all gets weaving into one. So let's just look at that, just for the sake of argument. I know people are going to jump to say we'll never be a socialist country. I know, Conti, you're a socialist. Right? Just put just put your gun away for fucking one second. All right, listen. All right. So so here's a. Um, I want to look at uh, let's look at some. So, so 2020 Democratic uh, candidate says crying socialism is worn is a worn out tactic used to shut down debate. Uh, is it true? Yeah, it is true. Is it working? Uh, it has been working, and Trump used it very, very effectively. So let's look at this guy. He's um, what is his name? P. Uh, Buttigieg. Buttigieg. Gig. Gig. Buttigieg. A presidential hopeful in in his 20s, right? Let's see. But just listen to what he has to say. It's pretty good. This label, socialism, 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 going to reach back into your past. You're 18 years old. You win the Profiles of Courage Award, the Essay Award, where the essay was basically about praising Bernie Sanders for being a socialist. Isn't that a liability now? Uh, What I was praising Senator Sanders for was for being honest about what he believed. And I think we need more of that. Look, uh, talk about uh, going into the past. You know, the president's adopting a tactic that takes us back to the darkest days of the 50s when you could use the word socialist to kill somebody's career or to kill an idea. But that, that trick has been tried so many times that I think it's losing all meaning. I mean, the affordable- So you don't think it's gonna work? I mean, the Affordable Care Act was a conservative idea that Democrats borrowed, and they called that socialist. So it's kind of like the boy who cried wolf. It's lost all power. I think, especially for my generation of voters, uh, folks just want to know whether an idea is a good idea or not. And slapping a label on it, especially in a careless way that doesn't make any sense, I don't think it really moves the debate. Uh, We're at way too serious of a moment in the life of this country uh, to be uh, taken in by by this attempt to basically cast a spell uh, using a a word to shut down debate. We need real solutions for profound changes in our society, in our politics, and in our economy. And that's what I think 2020 is going to be all about. Wow. Good idea versus bad idea. Wow. That's a bright young man, right? How come he gets it? So he praised, what happened was he praised in his in as a, when he was 18 years old he wrote an essay in school and he was praising uh Bernie Sanders on socialism now Bernie Sanders is not a socialist we know that right it's been proven over and over again that Bernie Sanders is a democratic socialist he believes in democratic politics democratic capitalism that functions within a socialist a social uh aware frame Right, so that people, we're going to look at the meaning as well. And I also have this, but let's look, uh, let's look at the, let's look at this. This is good. What's the matter, Bernie? He's a socialist. Tonight, 
we renew our resolve that America will never be a socialist country. This is the weapon. Four legs good, two legs bad. Four legs good, two legs bad. Right. So that's um, so that's that's the Trumpster declaring at the State of the Union that we will never be a socialist country. So what is socialism? What is it? Let's look at this. Too. It's fun to watch this shit. I watched Hillary last night with we're going to give this, we're going to give that, we're going to give that. She's the poor woman. She's got to give everything away because this maniac that was standing on her right is giving everything away. So she's following. That's what's happening. This socialist slash communist. Okay. Nobody wants to say it. No. Yeah, so, uh, yes, yeah, so, I, uh, I got so there's a socialist slash communist. He's a socialist. Right? So fucking Trump is weaponizing that. Uh, he's weaponizing that frame, right? That, uh, that phrase, right? So here's, here's another interesting thing, and we'll talk, we'll get a, uh, big picture, big picture review. So Jamie Dimon is the CEO for, uh, JP Morgan Chase, right? And, um, is a I don't know now <clears throat> approaching two trillion dollars in in market capitalization. It's just a huge, ugly bank that uh, that has so much power and so much influence and should I mean by all means should have been in the in the toilet after two thousand eight when they defaulted on their credit default swaps. They should have been allowed to go bust, but no, we bailed them out, and here they are now telling us how to run the economy. Right. So. Uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, Jamie Dimon says, that's not the citizen. Tapping into the, this is, a, he's making a defense for capitalism, right? Uh, right? Tapping into the political zygogists <laughs> where the debate about the growing popularity of so-called democratic socialism has been raging since the Democrats took back the House. Diamond offered a principled defense of capitalism as the most successful economic system in the history of the world while condemning socialism as a road to authoritarianism and mass poverty. That's not to say, quote, that's not to say that the social democracies in the, North, in the Nordic countries have a model that works for them and that capitalism as the U.S. practices it can be, can't be improved. Rather, socialism in its true form, that is, government controlled over the economy. That is, listen to this, this is his definition. That is, government control over the economy would be an unmitigated disaster, as history has repeatedly demonstrated. Let's look at the meaning. Is he right? So, socialism, the meaning, a political and economic theory of social organization which advocates that the means of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned or regulated by the community as a whole. Hmm, that seems to be different than what he's saying. Rather, socialism in its true form, that is government control. He's, he's distorting the facts, right? Where is, we have government control. We have corporatization that pays off the politicians and controls our lives, right? That is corporate. We have, we have control. We have government control over us, not the other example, right? right. And the other thing is um, the, the idea of uh, free stuff, giving everything away, as Trump says. He's given he's everything. He's got this guy standing next to me, giving, it, giving everything away, right? But no, the, the truth of the matter is people vote against their own, uh, their own interest. You have... So what it is is that this is what people have you as a as an American citizen, you have a a vested a property interest in your country, right? So you work, you pay taxes, and you and the country rises, right? You have a as a citizen of the country, not as a illegal immigrant, but as a citizen of this great country, you have a. Uh, a property interest in the country and all of the the benefits and the prosperity of that country. 
Now, to believe that 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 a a cutthroat capitalist system that has now evolved to oligarchy and monopoly, see, we don't have capitalism. That's not what's going on in this country. That's what Jamie Dimon's not leading you to uh, leading you. Uh, to believe. He's leading you to believe that capitalism is in its form right now is the way to go, is what's happening. But he's not telling you that he's not telling you that uh, that capitalism is actually dead right now. And we're in a state of oligarchy and monopoly, right? And that the term socialism has been weaponized to convince you that what you what you really want is capitalism. Right, what you really, which doesn't exist at this moment. You see the 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 contradiction where he's praising and defending the word capitalism, right? Which by definition doesn't exist anymore. That's a a kind of a, a, a equal playing field, right? And and it although it did exist, but what happens is certain regulations that that prevent regular people from excelling, and and large corporations. Uh, enhancing their ability to excel has occurred over the last 30 years through a, a number of regulations, right? Where all the, the, the monetary bailouts and, and, and such things have allowed large corporations to get a, uh, a, 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 to be so far out ahead of the, uh, the race that uh, we can't compete. You can't get it. You can't get a foothold. Right? So, there is no question, here's his, here's his defense, Jamie Dimon again, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase. There is no question that capitalism has been the most successful economic system that the world has ever seen. It has helped lift billions of people out of poverty and it has helped enhance the wealth, health, and education of people around the world. Capitalism enables competition, innovation, and choice. This is not to say that capitalism does not have its flaws. So, all right, so in the true form, in the beginning part of it, it is that's what capitalism is, and no one's denying that we shouldn't have that in our country but 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 to to weaponize the idea that any social program that helps the people and and brings the oligarchy and monopoly down to size is somehow a bad thing right so you could see how a guy like Jamie Dimon can lobby and and and, and petition for to to enhance the word capitalism and denigrate the word socialism right but why why the, the the question is why do you not me but why do you who says socialism is a is a bad thing and will never be a socialist country allow that that word to 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 rain down on your uh your property interest in your own country that's the mystery at least that's the mystery for me you know so so anyway that's um that's my my two cents on the uh, weaponization of uh, the word socialism. It's still going to rage on. I think the millennials today are aware of it, and they're uh, they're not playing into that uh, that bait and switch uh, word game anymore. So, uh, you know, put your thoughts down below. I know the Trump people will say, you know, I hate socialism. Fuck socialism. I know, I know. Just relax and try to take a breath, man. Try to take a breath and look at your look at your fearless leader. Who's who's saying now no health care, no health care in this country till after the election, no trade deal in China, the 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 troops are not coming home. We're just re redistributing them, putting them in Venezuela, right? No wall, no you know so and on and on and on. No give the tax breaks to the billionaires. It's good trickle down economics, right? Just look at the leader. Look at your leader before you open your trap about about a term that has. As I just told you, has no meaning and is losing steam. Marcus Conti reporting.